The Hyades star cluster is one of the most recognizable things in the night sky in the constellation Taurus. It's near the more well-known Pleiades in the sky, though about 300 light years closer to Earth. In total, it's about 400 times the mass of the Sun, though that mass is split up between hundreds of different stars. Nearly every star in the Hyades is the same age, about 625 million years old, and moving in the same direction. This can only mean one thing, all the stars of the Hyades form together. This is true of all star clusters like it, including the Pleiades. Stars rarely form alone, they're almost always surrounded by hundreds of other stars forming at the same time. The Sun is no exception. But as the stars age, they eventually disperse throughout the galaxy. The Hyades just haven't had time to yet. Anyways, because the Hyades has hundreds of stars, it probably has thousands of planets. Because it's at a relatively close 153 light years away, making it the closest open cluster to Earth, it's the best star cluster we have to study. So over the years, we've found a decent amount of planets in the Hyades. Because the Hyades is a cluster, its stars are very close together. There's only two star systems located in a five light year radius of Earth, one of which being the solar system. But in the center of the Hyades, there can be dozens of stars in that same area. So there are a lot of worlds packed into a small area here, at least compared to the rest of the galaxy. As far as I can tell, there are currently six confirmed planets and one planet candidate in the Hyades. Hundreds more almost certainly exist, but these are the only ones we have evidence for. Though if I've missed any, just tell me in the comments. The first of these is the first planet ever found in an open cluster like this, Amateru. Amateru, previously called Epsilon Tari b before being given an official name in 2015, is currently the largest known planet in the Hyades, the first one discovered there, and the only planet in the cluster to have an actual name. It was originally supposed to be named Amaterasu after the Shinto goddess of the sun, but that name was already taken by an asteroid, so the name Amateru was chosen instead. It's about 7.6 times the mass of Jupiter, though likely around 18% larger in radius. This is because gas giants don't really tend to get bigger in radius once their mass starts increasing after a certain point. Their gravity pulls their atmosphere down, lowering its radius, even as it gains more material. So, Amateru, despite being nearly 8 times the mass of Jupiter, is probably only slightly bigger than Jupiter in radius. This is seen among pretty much all gas giants like it with known masses and radii, though there are exceptions, most notably when a planet is very hot. Amateru takes 585 days to orbit its star Ain at around 2 AU, double the distance Earth orbits the Sun. But unfortunately for Amateru, Ain is a red giant 2.6 times the mass of the Sun, 12 times its radius, and 78 times as bright. So Amateru's temperature is probably somewhere around 514 degrees Fahrenheit, or 268 Celsius. As I said earlier, the stars in the Hyades are young, about 625 million years old, or 4 billion years younger than the Sun. Ain is already a red giant because larger stars tend to be far less fuel efficient and burn faster, leading to them having much shorter lifespans. In fact, Ain used to be the most massive star known to host a planet until Mewtwo Scorpii came along and dethroned it. But because it's so bright, Ain can be seen from Earth without a telescope. So far, it's one of the very few stars known to have a planet that you can go outside and see right now with no equipment. So it makes sense that when the Hyades is talked about, Amateru is usually the first planet mentioned. One of my first space videos on this channel was about the Hyades, and the only planet I talked about was Amateru. This was back when I just used text on a screen, so I don't recommend watching it. But anyway, that makes sense, it's the biggest, the only one with a name, orbiting the second brightest star in the cluster as seen from Earth. But there are still five other known planets here. Before I get to the more interesting systems, I should quickly mention HD 285507b, a hot Jupiter about 98% the mass of Jupiter that takes 6 days to orbit its star, a K-type about 75% the mass of the Sun. I can't find anything else about it, but hey, it probably exists, and as of December 2024, it's the only known hot Jupiter in the Hyades. K225 and K2136 are where it gets more interesting. K225 is pretty much the opposite of Ain, being a red dwarf just 26% the mass of the sun and only 1% is bright. Though Ain is an outlier, the majority of stars in the universe are red dwarfs like this. The Hyades most likely has hundreds of them. Anyways, K225 hosts one confirmed planet, a nice giant called K225b that's about 24 times the mass of Earth. It takes 3.4 days to orbit the star, and it's probably about 3.44 times larger than Earth in radius. Its temperature hasn't been directly measured yet, but it likely varies around 162 degrees Fahrenheit, or 72.7 Celsius, so below the boiling point of water. But I say it varies around that, because K225b's orbit isn't circular. It has an eccentricity probably around 0.27, meaning its orbit is an oval shape. So it gets much closer and much further away from its star throughout its orbit, leading to fluctuations in temperature. 
Though because we know very little about this planet, we can't say how much the temperature varies. But it is a hot ice giant, which is one of my favorite types of planets. Luckily, there are two more of them in the Hyades. K2136 is a binary star system with two stars. A larger orange red dwarf, K2136a, and a smaller red dwarf, K2136b. All three remaining known planets in the Hyades are located around K2136a. It's the only multi-planet system known in the Hyades, and is the host of the first ice giant to be found in a binary star system in an open cluster. That's a highly specific achievement, but an achievement nonetheless. The first of the three planets in the system is K2136ab, the only rocky planet currently suspected to exist in the Hyades. I say suspected because we don't yet know the precise mass of this planet. We do, however, know its radius, and it's pretty similar to Earth's. We can also be pretty confident that it's somewhere between 1 and 4.3 Earth masses. The reason it's suspected to be rocky besides that is what we know about the evolution of planets around these types of stars. Based on K2136ab's short orbit of just 8 days, its estimated temperature of about 536 degrees Fahrenheit or 280 Celsius, pretty similar to its cousin Amateru, it's been theorized that if this planet ever had an atmosphere, it was lost within a few million years of its formation. Of course, this is not yet known for certain, it's only a model based on what we know so far about system formation. In fact, this study, which I'll link in the description, suggests that all K2136 planets may have started life as ice giants and sub-Neptunes before B lost its atmosphere, leaving only its rocky core behind. Other than that, we can't say much. It's maybe a hot rocky planet around a red dwarf. While K2136ab is the first potentially rocky planet to have been found in the Hyades, its sibling, K2136ac, is equally as important. Adding on to the highly specific achievements the system has, K2136AC, as of April 2023, was the smallest planet in an open cluster with an accurately determined mass, while one of the youngest planets with a determined mass at 625 million years old, just like every other planet and star in the cluster. This planet's mass is around 18.1 Earth masses, making it almost certainly a warm ice giant, taking about 17.3 days to orbit K2136A. Based on this orbital distance, its temperature is predicted to be around 324 degrees Fahrenheit, or 162 Celsius. But this is just a prediction, there hasn't been any actual measurements of its temperature yet. But of all the planets in K2136, we know the most about C. At least it has a known mass. The same cannot be said about the last planet in the system, K2136 AD. Like B, we only know that it's about 1.45 times Earth's radius, but we don't know how massive it is. But the study I mentioned earlier suggests it could be around 3.94 Earth masses, which would make it a sub-Neptune, significantly smaller than C. Like all of the previous planets, its actual temperature has not yet been measured, but based on its orbital period of about 27 days, it's probably around 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 Celsius, pretty much exactly on the boiling point of water. Assuming that temperature measurement is close to accurate, which it might not be, that can make for a pretty interesting environment, especially if it has an atmosphere. That one study I keep mentioning suggests that it could be a rocky planet like B without a large gaseous envelope like C, so it could be a super-Earth assuming their model is right. And those are all the confirmed planets in the Hyades, but there's one more candidate, HD 283869b. It's a small gas giant about 17% the radius of Jupiter, with, yet again, an unknown mass, taking about 104 days to orbit its K-type star about 74% the mass of the Sun, similar to Mercury's distance. If confirmed, it would give it a measured temperature of about 0 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 18 Celsius, which is cold, but definitely an Earth-like temperature. So, it's the only planet in the Hyades with Earth-like temperatures. Unfortunately, its mass isn't known. Also, some exoplanet archives listed as confirmed, while I can't find any information about it more recent than 2018, when it was first mentioned as a candidate. I'm being cautious here in saying it's unconfirmed, because I haven't seen a paper confirming it, though if I'm wrong just again correct me in the comments. If this planet is real, it's the only one in the Hyades with Earth-like temperatures, which is pretty interesting. All the rest so far are hot. Anyways, the Hyades and star clusters like it have always been interesting to me. Every planet in this video, from Amateru to K2136ac, are all related to one another. These aren't like other random exoplanets scattered across the galaxy. Every single one of these planets, despite having wildly different environments and orbiting several different stars, all have a common origin. They're all the same age, and they all formed in the same birth cluster. The Hyades right now are dispersing, and a few hundred million years they'll probably be completely gone. Any evidence that Amateru and K225 and HD 285507 and all the other planetary systems were ever together will be much harder to find. 
but we live at a great opportunity to see just how the planets of the Hyades are forming. As you've probably seen throughout this video, the study of these Hyadean planets is still in its infancy. We know hardly anything about any of these worlds. We only know the mass of like two of them, but as better telescopes come online, we'll likely know a lot more. There are thousands of planets in the Hyades, from eccentric hot ice giants to super Jupiters around red giants, all close to one another. It's a strange family of planets, but a family nonetheless. This is pretty much how the solar system looked when it formed, surrounded by hundreds of siblings, the overwhelming majority of which have now been lost to the Milky Way. Hopefully we'll begin to know a lot more about the Hyades and its planets soon, as well as the planets of other star clusters. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about exoplanets and space colonization.